In this video, we'll take a look at some of the ways Docker Enterprise Edition secures your Kubernetes software pipeline. But let's step back for a quick second. What is a software delivery pipeline? I'm guessing most of us know what a retail pipeline is. So anytime we buy anything from a store or from the internet, we know that there's a bunch of things that have to happen before the item gets to us. So things like acquiring the raw materials, getting those to the manufacturer, packaging, delivery to the store, purchase, and then eventually delivery to us. And I think we get it that there's a load of security and quality checks along the way, because a defect or a low quality part introduced at any step of the way can ruin the product. I think we get that. And it's the same for software. There's a bunch of important steps in getting code from a developer's laptop onto a production environment. And like in the retail example, if a defect or a piece of malicious code gets introduced, then it's a world of hurt. So like the retail pipeline, it's vital that we've got security and checks at every step. Well, Docker Enterprise Edition helps with that. So here are just some of the ways that Docker EE can help us secure our Kubernetes pipeline. Now, there's more than this, and we're just scratching the surface here, but developers can sign their images, meaning any time that image gets pulled or used, it can be verified, and we can know that it hasn't been tampered with, and we can sign images at various points along the pipeline, yeah? There's also image security scanning, deep inspections of the software that we're using, checking for known vulnerabilities. Then there's RBAC and TLS on the cluster and all of that goodness, right? So, I'll tell you what, let's have a look at image signing and security scanning. Right, signing an image can be as simple as enabling Docker Content Trust on your developer's machine. That's it. Now, on this machine, anytime you push an image, it gets signed. And you can use hardware encryption tools and all kinds of stuff to augment this and make it more enterprise if you need. But the point is, it is so easy to sign images. Then, you come over to Docker Enterprise Edition here. And you can set a policy that says, okay, only run apps with signed images. And that includes Kubernetes apps, yeah? But not only that, you can say for an app to be allowed on the cluster, it actually has to be signed by a particular team here. And of course, you can list multiple teams as well. So two really simple steps. Start signing your images and set a policy. And after that... Docker EE is only going to let your Kubernetes apps run if they conform to the signing policy. So simple. And like we've said, you can create and sign new images at multiple stages in your pipeline. So let's switch tack to security scanning. There's no doubt, right? Software vulnerabilities are a big deal. And the idea here is to spot them before they even enter your pipeline. Only not just that, right? you can implement scanning at different stages in your pipeline to make sure they don't creep in later. So here in Docker Trusted Registry, we come under Settings, and then on the Security tab here, we just enable Scanning. And it's cool, right, because we've got two modes. Online scanning automatically syncs the vulnerability database, and it's ideal for systems connected to the internet. But this system here is air-gapped, actually, so we're getting the vulnerability database separately and manually uploading it. Well, once that's enabled, it's a per-repository decision whether you want images scanning or not. So, uh, a good one here is maybe the Faster Payments QA. Alright, see how this one says automatically scan new images when they arrive. And you know what, if we look at the image in the repo right now, we can see here there's a few issues and we can drill in for more detail. Pretty powerful stuff, yeah? But as well, if we look at policies, oh, okay, no policies on this one. Uh, faster payments test has one though, I know that. Yeah, here we go, so let's have a look. Okay, so if there are no vulnerabilities, all vulnerabilities equal zero, yeah? Promote it to retail bank faster payments QA. This means, Anytime anyone pushes a new image to this repo, so long as there are no vulnerabilities, you know what, move it along the pipeline to QA. And you know what, there's way more as well. I mean, we're not even mentioning permissions on repos or immutable repos. There's literally loads of stuff to protect and automate your Kubernetes pipeline. Anyway, 
Signing images gives images a cryptographic signature so you can be sure you're getting what you want, provenance and all that. And then scanning, that's vulnerability awareness at scale. I mean, Docker EE is always up to date with the latest NIST database of known vulnerabilities, and you can automatically scan images and even build policies that automate movement of software along your pipeline based on the result of those scans. Real enterprise stuff. Well, to try out Docker Enterprise Edition for yourself, head over to trial.docker.com.